In Revelation chapter 4, we get this picture of heaven, and it is breathtaking. It is more beautiful, more epic, more impressive than anything we have ever experienced, anything we've ever seen. It is fantastical. It, with sight and sound and, and just incredible awesomeness. Everywhere you look, there's just new colors, new sights, new sounds, and it is so stinking impressive. John has this vision, and he sees this open door in heaven in, in Revelation chapter 4, and it says he's immediately caught up in the Spirit. And he, see, he goes to heaven, and he sees these thrones, and there's one big throne. And, and the one that is sitting in the throne is like this living embodiment of all that is glittery and glowy. And he is, it, there's like this emerald glow around him. And then there are 24 little thrones all around him. And, and verse 5, check this out. It says this, Out of the great throne came flashes of lightning, sounds of voices, and peals of thunder. I love it. Heaven is going to be loud. There's not going to be any elevator music. There's not going to be any funeral music. It has been banned forever. There's just going to be beautiful, wonderful, loud noise. And I love that. And so you got the throne. You got the 24 little thrones. You've got just this just, just, just fantastical images. And then you have four living creatures, and they kind of represent all living creation. And you've got got one with the face of a lion, one with the face of an ox, one with the face of a human, one with the face of an eagle. Yeah, kind of freaky stuff, but hang in there. And then they all have six wings, and they're covered with eyeballs. So it is jaw-dropping stuff. I mean, this is sure to amaze you, sure to just make you go, <laughs> But guess, these fantastical creatures, guess what takes their breath away? Only one thing. We look at them or we think of them and we, we just kind of are amazed and we kind our jaw kind of goes, Dong. but what makes their jaw drop? What takes their breath away? Only one thing, and that's Jesus, because that's the most impressive thing in heaven. We're seeing all these, these images of fantastical things, the throne and the, the thunder and the lightning and the creatures that, that are fantastical, and, but that's all very impressive, but it's not the most impressive thing. It's not the biggest thing. It's not the, the most awesome thing in heaven. There's only... only God. They're, and these creatures, these four creatures, they're full-time, non-stop, 24-7 occupation. All they do, all the time, is sing. And here's their song. It's in verse 8, and it says this, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God, who is the all-powerful, who was, and who is, and who is coming. Holy, holy, holy is the one who was and is and is coming. That is their song, and that's what they sing constantly. They never stop because Jesus has taken their breath away. And then the elders join in the song, and they sing this in verse 11. Worthy are you, O Lord, worthy are you, O God, to receive glory and honor and power. You alone created all things, and through your will and by your design, they exist and were created. Heaven is going to be an amazing place, but the most amazing thing about heaven is Jesus, and we can get to know him now, and, and, and nothing else holds a candle to him. Nothing else holds a candle to, to just the, the beauty of who he is and the beauty of what he has done. He's the most impressive thing about, about heaven, so get to know him now. God bless you guys. Giddy up.